the comparison between Kozarek snail mucin and Jumisu snail mucin. I really like this product. I have finished one bottle almost. I uh, just have a few drops left which will help me to do the review. Here's the Jumisu snail mucin 95 plus peptides. I recently bought this bottle and used it for uh, 5 days only at night. It claims that it is dermatologically tested and non-comedogenic and helps to soothe the skin damage caused by UV rays. Which is true because it has 5 types of peptides. Here I used my lipstick to create the partition, so ignore it. And here is the Kozarek snail mucin. I will take one drop of it. And here is the Jumisu snail mucin. I will also take one drop of it. Now I will blend it. So I will use one of my finger to blend the Kozarek snail mucin and another finger to blend the Jumiso snail mucin. Both are very hydrating and slimy and it's really nice to just spread it all over the hands. As you can see Kozarex is very slimy, also a little greasy, just a little greasier than the Jumiso one. And here the Jumiso one is more lightweight and silky in texture. So now I will tap it to allow my skin to fully absorb the essence. While doing that, let me tell you, the Jumiso one has more anti-aging effects as it has peptides. It has 5 types of peptides and 95% snail secretion. While the Kozarex has only 96% snail secretion but no peptide. Peptides has amazing anti-aging properties and healing properties. It heals and soothes our skin textures. Can you see the after using glow? Now between these two, if you have dry skin, you can go for any of them. But if you want the extra advantage of peptide, you can go for Jumiso Snail Mason. But if you have oily skin, the Jumiso Snail Mason is a staple for your skin because it is very lightweight and non-greasy and it has peptides. So I'll go for Jumiso. 